I'm picking up where the last vlog left off and I'm now off to Sydney. So this is officially the Sydney vlog of the trip. Molly and Tom have been so kind as to let me sort myself out and I'm all packed up and ready Suited to go. And booted and ready for the overnight bus. Yes, but I'll be back to see them at the end of the trip. So um, it's not a proper goodbye for now, but yeah. it's time to go and sit on a bus for 12 hours. Woo. I'm so sunburnt on my cheeks, I didn't even realise. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's just not good. So before we jump into the Sydney vlog, I wanted to say that this video is very kindly sponsored by Ritual Multivitamins. So I have been taking the Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamins for a few months now, and including when I was in Australia, and I honestly wouldn't be without them. They're clinically backed and made with high quality ingredients to help fill those common nutrient gaps that you might not get from your food in your diet. You get nine key nutrients every day by taking just two capsules. They don't have any artificial extras or colorants, and they're also vegan, gluten-free, and major allergen-free. And most importantly for me, the ingredients are labelled and traceable, so you know exactly what it is you're taking every day. I think my favourite thing about them, though, is their delayed release capsule design, because it means that they're so gentle on the stomach that you can take them with or without food. They're delivered straight to your door, so you never have to worry about running out of them, and if you don't love your ritual multivitamins within 30 days, they'll refund you, no questions asked. So if you want to start a daily ritual that you'll feel good about, Ritual are actually offering you 20% off your first month if you use the link and the code which will be on the screen and in the description now. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Be sure to go and check them out using the link here. And without further ado, let's explore Sydney, shall we? All of my overnight buses and transport it has been very kindly gifted by Greyhound Australia. I honestly cannot recommend them enough if you're traveling the East Coast. All of the journeys were so comfortable, there was free Wi-Fi. This one was about 12 hours long, I think, and before I knew it, we were in Sydney, and I actually got a really good night's sleep, so I was feeling very, very grateful for that and the sun shining. So I have made it to Sydney. That was actually the best night's sleep I've had since getting here. I think it was just because the bus was quiet and dark. Like, it was actually such a nice journey, even if it was very long. I'm now gonna go and find my hostel. I don't think I can check in until two, but I might see if I can just have a shower and freshen up and then I think if the website is correct the hostel do guided tours of the city so I thought that might be a good way to see the city but also make some friends that are staying in the hostel so that's at two o'clock I need to eat before I do anything else I'm so hungry it to Sydney, dropped my bags off at the hostel, had a shower, washed my hair, sun creamed up and I'm off out to explore because I can't check in till 3pm. So I'm going to go for a walk down to the harbour and see what there is to see. I have to say what I really loved is that this Nomads hostel has like a little sort of makeup and beauty station with hair dryers and straighteners and mirrors which is so nice in like the female dorm section. That is such a bonus. Um, even though I bought my straighteners I didn't bring a hair dryer so I'm really grateful that that is there. So I headed down to Darling Harbour and decided to walk all the way up basically along the harbour and up to the Harbour Bridge. I think I did like 15,000 steps just doing this, but it was absolutely beautiful. It sounds really silly, but I really like the colours of the flags. Everything just seemed very colourful and there was lots of cute dogs, so I was very, very happy. I stopped at the canteen for lunch and I went to a place called Costi's Fish and Chips and this was delicious. It was like a freshly grilled fish and I had some mayo or tartar sauce, I think that was, and ketchup and loved it and then i carried on with my walk and to my surprise somebody was using an airplane to propose i must have sat there on the bench for like 15 minutes and it was said marry me woody i think and then had r loves d i still can't quite figure out who who's marrying who woody r d not sure but nonetheless i was very charmed um and it really really made my day after having a bit of a dodgy night the night before I actually cannot believe that someone just proposed to someone using a plane. That is genuinely the most romantic thing I've ever seen in my life. Future husband, take note. If someone proposed to me like that, I actually don't think I'd find it physically possible to say no. I'm now in the Barangaroo Reserve, Barangaroo, which seems very popular with runners. How they're running in 27 degree heat, I'm not sure, because I can barely walk. But that's the inner Brit in me. Anyway, it's honestly beautiful here even if it is very hot but i am having a great morning wandering around by myself i love it <laughs> Now we're 
alone have a bit of a chat shall we about solo traveling and how i'm finding it so obviously in melbourne i had um molly and tom which was really really nice because it was kind of the first place that i went to did also mean though i think because i was with molly and tom that i didn't really meet i met a few people in the hostel but like didn't really do anything with people in the hostel so my aim in sydney is to try and meet more people i'm meeting up with a couple of girls that are also traveling the east coast with my adventure project this evening which will be really really nice and i'm going to try and be social in the hostel um and just put, put my neck out there and be like hey do you want to do something do you want to do this do you want to do that it's so against my nature i really do struggle with stuff like that but equally i am a very social creature so as much as i like having a few hours to myself to sightsee much prefer sightseeing alone but you know i don't want to be alone all of the time so yeah it's kind of like finding that balance and that dynamic but i feel like so far i'm doing all right um and i'm slowly starting to get a tan but i have realized that i need to buy some more tops because they are i am getting through them i didn't really think about the fact that you have to wash them after every use because you've been sweating like nobody's business so i'm gonna try and find a cotton on or something like that just to get a couple more little tops that will last me so i don't have to do washing every like 10 minutes but yeah onwards we go i have not yet found p sherman 42 wallaby way sydney and i've been unfortunately informed that it's not a real address i was so excited to find nemo and it's not a real address sad times <laughs> you know i had absolutely no idea where i was and then i turn around and i found the bridge now i feel like i'm in sydney <laughs> guys fangirl mode has been activated i walked around the corner and i saw this building and i was like that looks a bit like the dance academy building so i stopped for a second and then a very lovely guy that works at bangaroo bangaroo sorry i can't pronounce that reserve was like are you okay are you lost i was like this is a really weird question but do they film dance academy here and he was like they sure do gave me the exact directions of where to go so i'm about to go and see where dance academy was filmed i can't believe it to correct my mispronunciation in the last clip it is in fact barangaroo so apologies about that because i don't like mispronouncing things if i can avoid it I went and lived my best dance academy dreams and walked around all of the piers um, by the harbour bridge i was honestly flabbergasted because I love Dance Academy and it was just so cool to see the set in real life. I used to be absolutely obsessed with it when I was like 14, 15. And when the bridge came into view, I was just, oh wow. It was just one of those moments where you're like, wow, I can't believe that I'm lucky enough to go traveling and see all these amazing things. If you know what happened at this point where I'm filming, then I'm sorry that you had to go through that, by the way, when you watched Dance Academy, because that was traumatic. Then I went to the rocks, which was probably my favorite part of Sydney. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, I think that's actually where they used to house prisoners. That was like the former like penal colony, um, but it's pretty, I guess now. <laughs> it's probably not okay to say that. Anyway, um, got to the opera house. The opera house is really cool, but it was really hard to get like a good shot of all of it. And these clips are probably not the best, but I spent about an hour just wandering around the opera house and the surrounding areas, which was really nice before I headed back to the hostel to check in and get my bed. Hello everyone, so I've checked in to my next hostel room. This one is quite a lot bigger. Unfortunately, despite trying to check in literally on time, I've still got to have a top bunk bed. Cannot lie, I'm not chuffed about that just because I keep full. I'm really bad at climbing bunks. But I'm just going to get my stuff like sort of all unpacked. Probably going to chill for about half an hour and then I'm going to go and do a little bit more sightseeing. And then I'm actually meeting a couple of girls that are also doing my adventure project. And they're currently here in Sydney. They're staying at a different hostel, but we're going to go for drinks, which should be really nice to meet some new people, some new faces. So, yeah. Also, let's just take a moment before I go out for the skirt I got from Glasson yesterday. This was eight pounds. Eight great British pounds. It's so cute. I think it might be the most me item of clothing I've ever purchased and it fits me like a glove because the sizes here are actually true to size. It's actually a size 10. What a miracle. I went back out and did a little bit of shopping in the city centre in a couple of the little shopping centres. Well, not little, they were huge. In a couple of the shopping centres. I didn't really find anything that I liked though. So I decided to get the tram back out to the harbour and wait there until the girls that I was meeting arrived and we went out into the rocks again and we went to this Italian restaurant. I had like a seafood pasta before we went to the, the hostel bar on their hostel and it was an interesting experience, let me say that. <laughs> Hello, it's me. I wanted to, I haven't really vlogged that much this evening and I just wanted to be completely honest. Like, 
I think today I have struggled a little bit just mentally with everything and I got this rash like on my leg it's just heat rash but it's really itchy I do get it quite a lot just when I'm exposed to the sun and I just was feeling quite yeah just a bit overwhelmed by everything um super cheesy i know but i was really missing rob as well just like missing his company and just him being around um which is good because he was missing me too so we actually were both having a day like that which was nice we just spoke for like an hour on the phone um but i went out with two really lovely girls um that are also doing my adventure project but i just felt like i had like a bit of sunstroke or maybe just a bit of a headache and the club that we went to like the bar um everyone there was like 18 and i suddenly realized that i'm like 23 and i it just felt very like out of place and yeah hello everyone so it is now saturday for some miracle i slept through the night last night um only for six hours because i had to get up at six o'clock but still that is a big improvement i think i was worried i wouldn't hear my alarm with my earplugs in which is why i've not been sleeping with them in but i did and i woke up and i feel so much better for having slept straight through today i'm doing the blue mountains tour just outside of sydney and i'm really really excited so i'm going to take you along with me so this tour was very kindly gifted by Colourful Collective Travel and organised by My Adventure Project as part of my trip. Early in the morning we headed out over the Harbour Bridge to Featherdale Wildlife Park as our first stop. I saw so many cool things here that I would go on to see a fair few times whilst I was in Australia but this was the first time seeing all of these things like cassowaries and um, I forget what other things we saw. Oh yes, the red kangaroo and I think this was a wombat and the blue penguins as well. So I was honestly in my element. I felt like a kid in a toy store just seeing all these amazing wildlife right in front of my eyes. I forget what this one was called. If anyone can tell me, please tell me in the comments. But the real highlight was feeding the wallabies and the kangaroos. At this point, I hadn't really seen a kangaroo or anything. So I was genuinely ecstatic. I had the best day. We spent like an hour and a half just going around feeding the wallabies and they have these little hands they just grab onto your little hand while you were munching while they were munching away at the food and i just had so much fun who knew that a one dollar fifty tub of food could provide so much fun and i also met all the other girls that were doing my adventure project at the same time as me because they all did this tour so it was super super nice to be able to talk to them and get to know them so i was in a really good mood finally feeling like i'd actually made some friends whilst also petting and feeding these absolutely adorable animals in the sunshine in the middle of a national park it was just wow looking back on these is making me so happy this is me and my new kangaroo friend steve Say hi to the channel, Steve. Hi to the vlog. How's it going? <laughs> Anything you want to ask? No? Well, there's more food here if you like it. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. He's like broken the fourth wall. He's like, hello. I suppose they probably don't see mirrors very often, do they? Mate, I've got food. Surely that's more interesting to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, look, food. After that, we headed to Lincoln's Rock to go and see views of the Blue Mountains. I can't remember exactly what the chemical process is that gives it this blue haze. It's something to do with rainfall condensation, but they were stunning and our guide was amazing, helping us get all the best spots for the Instagram as well. And it was really lovely to see that loads of couples had like inscribed their names into the rock when they'd been here, which I thought was so cute. And we just spent a while taking in the amazing views before we headed to Prince's Rock Track to see some waterfalls. Sadly, I only got this one clip, I'm really sorry. Um, and then after that, we headed to the main attraction for the day, which was the Three Sisters. They were so, so cool. I just love how something completely naturally formed can just be so beautiful and there were so many amazing beautiful natural sites in australia it was great and to top the day off we went on a very sweaty rainforest walk where our guide told us all about the first peoples that lived here and their practices and customs and he also showed us how the acoustics meant that when you shouted it echoed back to you but you can't really hear it in the next clip i'm afraid one two three Ready? one two three <laughs> <laughs> hello i'm so sweaty and gross so sorry i've not vlogged today in person i just was trying to talk to people and make friends rather than shoving a camera in their face 
just back now i'm gonna have a quick lunch that i just grabbed from Woolworths. dinner sorry dinner that i grabbed from Woolworths, and then we're gonna head out for drinks honestly though today was so good had so much fun but i am shattered like that last hike really killed me off but i'm gonna regroup shower sort myself out the girls that are also doing the tour at the same time as me are staying in a different hostel so i'm gonna go meet them at their hostel have a few drinks there and then we're gonna head and see if we can find a nice bar so that should be really nice as they're leaving tomorrow they're a day ahead of me at the moment but as of byron bay we're gonna be on the same itinerary more or less so that will be really really nice um because they're all very lovely but i need to eat i really need to eat i am ready to go out I think we're going to head to the harbour after we've had some pre-drinks. This dress is from Pull and Bear. And I've got my Birkenstocks on. I need to pierce an extra hole in them because they are a little bit too big for me, which I didn't realise. But yeah, I'm very excited. Hey everyone, I literally have my voice. I am very tired today. So today I'm meeting up with a girl that actually went to Oxford and she's living in Sydney now. And we're going to do the Kuji to Bondi Beach walk. I've got my bikini on. I've not like done my hair or anything. So I think we're just going to chill at the beach for a few hours as well. I'm just going to go and have a mooch around the shops for a little while. And then I'm going to get the bus to Kuji. But I'm taking it very chill today. I'm going to do some laundry, some editing. Because it's been a week. And as you can tell, I feel like it's kind of catching up with me. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise I had chewing them in. I know people hate it when I talk to you in your mouth. Apologies. I've made it to a very windy Kuji. Um, I just had a phone call with Rob when I was on the bus, which was really nice, if not making me a little bit sad. But I'm okay. Um, he's gone to sleep now. So I'm just going to enjoy my day. Um, it's really hot, but it is actually quite windy. So I'm going to put some sun cream on because I don't want the wind to deceive me into thinking that I'm not going to burn. I'm here about 20 minutes early, so I'm going to go for an explore here myself before we start the walk down to Bondi, but it's beautiful so so nice i can see why so many people live here so we headed from kuji oh my voice just did the weirdest thing then i don't know what went on there we started at kuji and we walked all the way to bondi it took about two hours i think it was very very hot but it was a hundred percent worth it for the views we went past um, bronte beach we met a loads of really nice people on the way that were also doing the walk and chatted with them um i can't remember the names of the other beaches we walked past but as you can tell the views are guys this clippo sorry i'm interrupting my own commentary to tell you that that clippo best flavor clippo ever unreal anyway back to the views it was so so nice to just meet someone else that's been to oxford we're just chatting about our similar experiences um and then we just saw the icebergs the famous bondi icebergs before chilling on the rocks because it was very windy so we couldn't sit on the sand grabbed a fish bowl for lunch which was oh, God, this was delicious. I'm getting hungry just looking at it. And then after that, we chilled out a little bit longer before a lot of the girls had to go and get their overnight bus. And then I went to Woolworths, I wanna say, and grabbed myself some dinner. So today we did the walk from Bondi to Coogee, no, Coogee to Bondi. And it took about two hours and it was really, really nice. I had a really good time. But despite reapplying my sun cream, what must have been about four times today, It's SPF 50 plus, SPF 50 plus, and I've applied it genuinely every two hours, the whole time I've been in the sun, and it's clearly not enough. So, after I spent some time on the beach with the girls that I met yesterday that are doing my adventure project, they're actually off to Byron Bay tonight, but as of tonight, we're officially caught up together, if that makes sense. So I'm getting the bus tomorrow, but after that, we're getting all the same buses. I went and grabbed some dinner, got myself a Diet Coke, I got myself a panne of strawberries and I got myself a vegetable tikka masala. Um, everything's so expensive here, even the ready meals, so I feel like this is just going to be an expensive trip. But as of Byron Bay, I am going to try and start cooking a bit more and like doing things in the hostel kitchen. Tonight is going to be a major admin night, so I'm going to do my laundry, I'm going to do um, some editing, I'm going to try and edit the first vlog if I can get some Wi-Fi. And yeah, basically just sort of get my life together, have a shower. So that's basically all I've got planned today. It looks like most people have checked out. I'm gonna go because there's a random person screaming in the hall, um, but I'll check in with you later. Hello everyone, so I've done my laundry. It's all tumble dry down in here. 
Um, those were such good tumble dryers, like the ones at uni would never dry my clothes probably, so. Yeah, the ones at uni would literally never dry my clothes, so I'm very happy about that. My voice is now pretty much completely gone, which is really annoying. But the plan is I'm going to finish tidying up my rucksack and put all my clothes away. Also, P.S. If you are going travelling, bring a tote bag. It's the most versatile and useful thing I bought, so yeah, would recommend a tote bag. Wow, you can really tell that I've been sleeping. Good morning everyone, today is my last day in Sydney. Um, I actually went to bed at like 10 last night, slept right through till 6.30 and then slept again till 8.30, so I'm feeling a lot more well rested and very grateful that the jet lag is finally gone. And so I need to check out at 11, it's now coming up to 9 o'clock, so my plan is to, I've already packed my bag so I just literally need to get ready and I'm just gonna go for a wander today. I'm gonna do some museums, um, basically stuff that doesn't really involve me talking obviously because my voice is completely gone. Uh, so yeah, come along with me and let's go and explore. Hello everyone, so I'm all packed and ready to go. Annoyingly I used the hostel straighteners this morning to do my fringe and it's just gone like poof and I actually can't fix it, I've tried and it's just stuck in this weird position so I'm just gonna have to accept that that's happening today anyway my outfit today is actually an entirely Australia bought outfit uh, this top is from Cotton On and this skirt is from Glassons so you know I'm fully making the most of how nice their clothes are here I am now gonna head out I'm gonna grab um, maybe a hash brown and a diet coat from McDonald's because that was my typical breakfast order at home and you can have it any time of day here So I am at the Royal Botanical Gardens right now. I'm gonna go for a walk around here for about half an hour, an hour, and then actually I'm gonna go to the cinema. And you might be thinking, Eve, why on earth would you go to the cinema when you're literally the other side of the globe? Well, my answer is that I've been doing 30,000 steps every single day for the last week. My legs are sore, I've got a cough, I've got a sore throat, and I can tell that I'm my body's kind of getting a bit worn down. So I thought maybe a chilled mid-afternoon date at the cinema to see a film that I've been meaning to see would actually be a really good way of like making sure I don't overdo it because obviously I've still got five weeks ahead of me of traveling and yeah and then I've still got loads of time this afternoon to do the rest of the sightseeing that I want to do so in the whole cinema, which is really nice. I actually hadn't realised that I don't think this film has come out yet in the UK. I think well, there's a slightly earlier release date here. I don't know why I'd convince myself that it was it had already come out in the UK, but I'm very excited to see it. I've got myself a Coke Zero. The seats are so comfy and so big. So, should be a really nice couple of relaxing hours. And yeah, hopefully I don't cough too much. <laughs> So I just got out of the movie. I did actually cry at the end. I think it's because I'm a bit hormonal um, at the moment, but I really enjoyed it. If you want like a fun, heartwarming, but also kind of sad, but funny, rom-com, perfect like weekend watch, like would 100% recommend. It wasn't the most life-changing movie I've ever watched, but everyone gave really good performances and uh, it was a perfect way to spend a Monday afternoon. So. I'm now going to go into Haymarket to St Paddy's Market and also around Chinatown because everyone has told me that that is definitely worth a visit. <laughs> Literally look at these sunglasses lines. Oh, they're so bad. It's fine. We'll, we'll sort that out in Byron Bay with a bit more sunbathing. <laughs> So Paddy's was actually closed and I accidentally stumbled across the Chinese Garden of Friendship and it is probably one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life. 
Thankfully, everybody, I finally saw sense and started recording with my phone at this point. So prepare for the vlog quality to be infinitely better here on in. I spent about two and a half hours here in the end. I planned to do a couple of other things, but I was just so mesmerized by how beautiful it was. I wrote down my wish for the Lunar New Year as well and tied it up on these beautiful hanging um, garlands. What would you call them? And I just spent so long wandering around, marveling at just how beautiful i need to think of a better word than beautiful stunning amazing inspiring um this garden was just right in the middle of the city totally tucked away um i don't think it cost me that much to enter i think it was like five pounds or something and it was 100 percent worth it if you're in sydney and you have an afternoon to kill this was actually my favorite thing that i did there there were just waterfalls and look at this i mean speaks for itself really and I got to see loads of horse dragons um, who I've become very well acquainted with in Byron Bay but it was cool to see them here as well and after that I decided I should probably get some food before a long overnight bus so I made my way round the corner to Spice Alley. I had been recommended this by so many people and boy oh boy did it not disappoint. It's basically an alleyway filled with foods from all different places, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, China, I went for Malaysian in the end. Look how beautiful it is as well. It's just so, it was so nice to just sit and eat here as well. It was like an actual joyous experience. It felt like one of those really cool London markets, but actually good food. Um, so yeah, went to the Malaysian place and I had the curry mee with prawns, 10 out of 10. So I'm all ready to go. I've just got changed into my travel outfit. I've got my jumper around my waist as well for the air conditioned bus. I am about to leave Nomad Sydney. This was honestly such a nice hostel. Sadly, I got a bit unlucky and the people in my room were like so not social, like did not really want to make friends or anything. But the girls only dorms were amazing. They were so spacious. The beauty station was an absolute lifesaver. I'm going to miss that so much. Um, and the staff were super friendly. So I'm excited to see what the next hostel will hold. But for now, it is time for a 13 hour overnight bus. Let's hope it goes as well as the last one because I actually slept on that one. So that would be very nice if I could do that again. <laughs> I did not film a proper outro for this video. So here is Future Eve popping in to say that I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. The next one will be in Byron Bay, which is definitely one of my favorite ones out of all of them. So I really hope you're looking forward to that. Let me know what other videos you would like to see over the next couple of weeks down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned before, the link and the code will be on the screen now for you to get 20% off your first month using Ritual multivitamins. And that's everything for this week. So I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.